beyond 1 million genomes project has developed a demonstration, a proof of concept for further aided data access. This work in progress demonstrates how bringing together the GA4GH standards and infrastructure services and components can provide the five functionalities required for further aided data access. Data discovery, data reception, storage and interfaces, data access management tools, and data processing. For this proof of concept, we will assume a group of researchers have a variant of interest, which they hypothesize has an association with a phenotype. The researchers want to query OnePlus MG data hosted in the Swedish and Finnish data hubs. So they start by logging into the Beacon network to search for the variant. They use an Elixir identity associated with their institutional login. Then, entering the location and mutation, they begin the search. Next, they investigate one of the three identified variants, but the data is under control access and access must be requested with an application called REMS. The user can now get more information on the dataset by clicking on the catalog and applying to access the OnePlus MG virtual cohort. This process allows the user to apply for access to both the data in the Swedish and Finnish data hubs with only one application. They can give a title, contact person, date of the project, other research group members if needed, ethics approval, data management plan, and send the application. A member of the Data Access Committee receives the notification and can decide whether to approve or reject the application, give comments and even set an expiration date of access. The user can now log in to the Swedish Data Hub GBAP using once again the Elixir identity. Once logged in, the researcher can receive additional information about the individual's genotype and phenotype. Choosing the variant class and the gene name, the user runs the query to find two variants within the gene. But one of the two did not appear in the initial beacon search. So the user makes another query via Matchmaker Exchange to look for a similar phenotype in variants in the same gene, but in other data hubs. Via Matchmaker Exchange, they get a positive response from the Finnish data hub. The researcher can now see all nine samples and visualize the raw genetic data.